Hey guys, it's Ashton again, and today we will be reviewing the latest episode of IQ episode 21. So, um, wow, this episode was pretty amazing in terms of what we saw. Um, let's see, so it started out with, um, obviously, um, I, um, Krasna winning the first set. I honestly thought they were gonna lose that set because of the guy. Like in the previous episode when I saw the mad dog guy spike the ball, I was like, oh my god, they're gonna lose. But they pulled through like always and actually won the first set. And yeah, um, let's see. Then like the second set came along and then we got to see more of the mad dog and his ability. And like the way he uses it, like the way he um, spiked the ball, like diagonally I guess you could say I don't know how like to put it like the way he's like in the first like I don't remember what part he did it but like he he like spiked it like di it was so like dang like this guy is a demon or something like it was so scary like how can you even pull that so to see that was um pretty awesome um well I'm not happy that he did it but like um this episode, what uh, what can I say about it? Um, sorry, I watched it a couple hours ago and I didn't have time to record. And now that I have time to record, I forget everything. Um, let's see. I should I should write them down next time. So um, let's see. Like the most um, like it was pretty hype. This episode um, to see like everybody like um. His um Oikawa surfs are still like demon like I still hate them. But like um I remember the part when um they switched out Sukish um what's his name? Sukishima? I think it's Sukishima. Um and um Su Sugawara and like Sugawara stepped in and like the way how they were purposely um hitting like th uh, he was spiking the ball towards um the guy so he wouldn't um spike the ball. That was pretty smart of him and he wanted to like catch up but sadly they didn't because like Oikawa's team is too like smart as you could see but like that was a pretty good move in terms of like what to do so props to Suga trying to like keep the lead going and like um Kageyama spiking the ball though like I was surprised I never thought I've never seen him spike or I don't know if he's ever sp spiked a ball um in um like a official match I guess you could say in like season two or season one I don't even remember him ever doing that so for him to see that do that was pretty cool and then Hinata was so jealous like like I don't know if he was just he was just like oh nice pass out in his face it was so like funny to see that but like yeah um this episode we got to see more of Oikawa's ugly face and um mad dogs abilities because like like they were like just like before i even mentioned that um the animation in this episode was amazing props to um production ig like the animation was beautiful and then like the way i don't want to say this because i know i hate oikawa so much much in his ugly face like i know like the way like his 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 face like the full like the um the animation for his face like his sweat and everything Everything was so specific and everything. It was so like it was really good. Like the, his facial expressions and everything were pretty cool, even though they were scary AF. So and also like um, Mad Dog, the way he specs the ball, I and like the way like the black is like everything is fast. Like a, like a, I guess you could say I, I don't want to compare it like to a comic. I guess you could say like I it's hard to explain. Like when you see like them. He moves very fast and then all the black, like his black outline and all that stuff. And then he spikes it like, oh, animation, godlike, as always. Um, but yeah, and then that ending, well, I don't want to talk about the ending right now, but like, like, just like, I hate, oh, oh, but Josai, they're too smart. I wish they were like dumb, but like that's what makes them good because they're a challenge for Karasuna. But I don't really want it to be a challenge at the same time because I want them to win. But like, hey, there always has to be somebody that's better than you at one point. Hopefully, that's what the that's what the sad part is. 
I don't want that to happen. So, um, other than that, but like the ending though, the ending, like I, my mouth was like open so wide when I saw that and like we have to talk about it. So the ending was, um, as you could see, like if you didn't watch it, I don't know what you're spending your time here doing because like that's probably the only reason why you watch it to see my opinion on it. But like Yamaguchi at the end, like he put him in, like when I saw him, I was like, oh my god, something's gonna happen. Because like if you guys don't remember from last season, Yamaguchi like um, served and then he missed. And then like I, from like reminiscing from the, like the first season, like from the first season to this season, like he's been really like upset. Well, he's been talking about the fact that like if he had never even messed up that they could have scored so to see him be put in the match it's like oh my god so yeah that's it and if you enjoyed please feel free to subscribe and bye guys